Hey everyone, Ryan here. I'm the colorist for Image Comics um, Family Tree, written by Jeff Lemire, penciled by Phil Hester, and colored by or inked by Eric Gapster. Like I said, I'm the colorist, and today I'm going to walk you through a short video of the decisions I made coloring a page, my favorite page from issue two, which just came out in December. So here we have the black and white artwork that I'm sent by the inker Eric. I have to clean it up a little bit to get uh, to get it to where I want to work with it, solid black and white. Um, a nice crisp uh, CMYK black. Um, so once I get the page set up, then the first step to do is always the flats. Um, so these flats I do myself. So since I do them myself, I can go ahead and pick the colors that I know I'm going to use. I don't have to make any adjustments. I already kind of picked these kind of desaturated uh, color choices that I've been using, you know, on the issue so far. This is issue, or this is page 14 of this issue. So I've been using the same color scheme for multiple uh, pages prior to this. So it's easy to just pick and choose. And uh, so I lay my flats in. And then uh, I go ahead and I drop in my shadows, which is my cell shading. Um, pretty pretty standard here. It's at night, so I'm using kind of a purplish gray shadow color. Um, I use the light sources that Phil already determined in the inks. Um, you can see in, in panel one here, Judd is, is lit from the front, got heavy, heavy uh, shadows behind him. Panel two here, using the gun, uh, the gun flare, gun flash, um, we got some hard, hard cut shadows there. So it's all pretty, pretty well determined through Phil's, through Phil and Eric's uh, line work here. Uh, so it's pretty simple for me to know where to drop my shadows in, where to leave, where to leave it open um, for where the light's hitting. So there you go. Uh, pretty simple cell shading uh, dropped in there. Um, next thing, because I just go in order, I do every page kind of the same. So the next thing is my lighting. My light source, again, I have the gun flare. That's a light source. And then we also have the moon, which obviously isn't shown, but we obviously have the moon here. Um, so I'm using that as my basis. Uh, panel one here, uh, Judd doesn't have too much uh, lighting on him. You can see that I did not... Uh, Put the overall lighting scheme on him in that panel because he's supposed to be under this kind of awning um, still so i wanted him to be as much in shadow as possible but in these other panels when he comes out uh, you could see a little more uh, light hitting him and then the next thing i did was i really wanted uh, judd in panel one to pop i think that this this illustration right here that phil did i think is one of the best so far in the series it's just so powerful and iconic and just great um, so I really wanted that to pop, so I dropped in kind of an emphasis color on him, uh, a red to make it pop for the viewer, or for the reader, sorry. And uh, so I really wanted that to, to showcase, to showcase the, I wanted that to be the focus of the page. And you can see it really stands out there, and it might stand out a little bit too much. But in the next uh, color layer, uh, I do an overall color, kind of overall color overlay, I suppose even though it's not the overlay layer, I'm using the color overlay. Um, but every panel, it's real It's it's real hard to see, especially on the screen here. But if you can see every panel that Judd is in, or yeah, every panel Judd's in, uh, he's got kind of an orangish to reddish hue to brighten him, to make him pull away a little bit from the background. And then the uh, all the background elements have a purplish, purplish hue to them to make them kind of recede just a little bit. It's not much, but it's just enough, I think, to kind of do what I was wanting to do there, or at least I'm trying it out and hoping that it works. And uh, even right now, if, if, you're, if you've read the comic before, you can tell that this page is a little too bright. What we're doing with this comic is more kind of desaturated, gloomy, uh, depressive a little bit. So finally what I do here is I just drop an overall, another color layer over it in a, in a gray color, just kind of to deaden everything so that nothing really pops too much. Um, and it, and it fits the, like I said, fits the story here. This this panel or this page is a flashback, so it really fits the, really fits the mood of the story, especially in this flashback, to keep it desaturated like that. So, again, going in order, which I always do. I start with my black and white line art, drop in my flats, drop in my sh uh, cell shading, my shadows, drop in my overall lighting scheme make the main character kind of pop there, do a little uh, overall color scheme there to kind of keep the focus on the main character. And then again, just after I do all that work, I just deaden it just to kind of mute everything to make it fit the story. It's, it's a, a dark, dark story. story. It's, it's a bleak, bleak story. story. 
So um, unless something unless something's happening that needs to be uh, bright and cheerful, it's going to be kind of this overall color scheme. I think it works for the book, and I think uh, I think everyone involved in the book uh, thinks it works for the book. So that's it. It's my favorite page from uh, issue two of Family Tree. Issue three comes out in a couple weeks, January twentieth, I believe. I don't have a calendar in front of me. And um, issue five, which is this cover right here, is in previews right now. So you can order issue five from your uh, local comic shop if you wanted to right now. If you haven't read the book at all yet, you can ask your comic shop to order you all five issues. I think they're all available. So uh, get on board with that. Subscribe to the book at your local comic shop. Add it to your pull list. You'll love it. Um, you can follow me on social media at Ryan Cody 75 on Instagram and at Ryan Cody on Twitter. And uh, you can listen to my podcast, The Illustrious Gentleman, wherever you get uh, your podcasts at, wherever you listen to them at. Uh, I co-host that with Scott Godleski, DC comic book artist. And uh, it's a pretty fun one. Uh, everything else is up at super75studios.com. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy Family Tree. I'm having a blast working on it.